What is going on, everybody? We're back with another one, and we're on Layton. And we are going to be looking for the cheapest rifle in Call of the Wild, and we're going to be hunting Whitetail on Layton Lakes. So, I hope y'all enjoy this. If y'all do, hit that subscribe button. Hit the big old thumbs up button to leave a like on this video, and comment down below. I am... I gonna, I'm putting all my weapons in here. Like, literally everything. And we're going to look for... I'm gonna keep my rifle sight. I can put that up. We can pull out... That for a call. And that's everything. But we're going to look for the cheapest rifle. So what is the cheapest, technically? The 223 is cheap. I don't... Free. Free is the cheapest, but... We're going to rock with the 223. Because free is cheap, yes. But I don't want free. I want to use... The rifle, the first rifle you buy, because free, yeah, it is free and everything, but that's just no fun. Because I could just pull out the 308 AR 308 and boom, free. So, we're gonna take out the uh 223 today and we're gonna hunt whitetail, and hopefully, it goes acceptably good. It might, it might not. Uh, you never know. We got to, what time is it? 17.07. We got to change the time to whitetail time, which is, I think, 11. Starts at 8, ends at 12, so we'll put it on 11. And uh, let's go find some zones to hunt. We got a pretty nice whitetail right there. But there's another one in the bushes that I can't see. So I don't, like, I spotted it. It had decent size, but I don't know if it's like a, if it has a rare fur, if it's just normal. So I'm going to hit them with a few calls, and hopefully they will come this way. Okay, that one is, that one is. 206, a female. Okay, he's just normal. 165 to 206. Honestly... He is the biggest. Oh. oh, I was about to say, that's another buck, but no, there's not. And we got a heart shot. Luckily, I got the penetration for the heart. That is a great shot. Oof. Can we see anything on the other side of the pond? I'm not going to take real far shots with this gun, because it's the starter gun. It... Definitely won't get no penetration or anything. So, oh. So, I'm going to try to get up close and personal for him. 197. Heart lung. Yeah, I mean, it got okay penetration, but not very good. That's a 107, though. I see such a good white tail out there. That's the only one I can see. There might be more. Oh my gosh. There's another decent herd out there. Okay, we gotta get around this pond. So we gotta get around. This is the first pond spot. So they're right there. I'm gonna try to use the call and call them out and be able to get a shot to maybe where I can get a shot into that other herd and take one of those also. Mint the calls. I'm hitting the calls. Come on. Come on. There, I actually got a f decent look at a few of them. And there's some good ones. So we get to like literally pick and choose. Which so far, that looks like the biggest right there. That's a good one. That's a good one. That's a decent one. I still like that one. I think that one's the one I'm going to try to get. We are trying to get him away from the bush. For him being so big. Oh, that one's good too. 
for him being so big, he is definitely smart. The big white tail don't get to being big for being dumb. They get to being big for being the smartest one out of the herd. Just hoping I'm far enough away where those don't spook. But... Oh... Is that the one? That's the one we hit. He's going down. Those didn't spook. Yet. Any... 210, 217, 199. If they do spook, I ain't really, really like worried about it because they are decent ones. So if they spook, they can go. Vital blood. Ooh. Anything on this side? No. We can see them better. Yeah, I ain't really worried about them. Vital blood. Which way did you go? You went this way. He is down because we caught the vital. Dude, like, we, September 16th is when my hunting season starts, and I am ready. Counting down the days, and September 16th is when, that's when bow season starts. So, when the hunting season starts, we're going to do a video of me hunting with the bow from a tree stand, a whitetail. Because that's what I'm going to be doing when I go hunting that, that morning. I'll be sitting in a stand. For waiting for a white tail to come out. Ooh, ooh, ooh. 217. It's actually a really nice good rack. Okay, I'll take it. I'm happy with that. That's, that's a good, solid deer. Solid white tail. I know anybody would be happy with that if they got that. We got a not massive, but small white tail. That's a decent one. I mean, oh, if you would have turned broad, I would have tried taking you also. I mean, that's a good wide one. And also a good wide one. We're going to watch him go down, though. He's going down right there. Yep. Bingo! We got him down, though. Honestly, the 223 is not bad. For it being the cheapest gun in Call of the Wild it is not that bad it could be a lot worse I need to find, figure out which one the most expensive weapon is in Call of the Wild and hunt with that but right now we're just hunting with the cheapest weapon in Call of the Wild for Whitetail and it's working out pretty dang good ooh here he is I mean he's not going to be anything special 170 yeah nothing special Turkey. I actually low key, low key, forgot there are turkeys on this map. I actually forgot that there's turkeys on this map. So, yeah. I did not remember that. Now I do. Now we could, we could start. Oh, y'all are. Up in somewhere. I think this would be a shooter. I've been passing up a lot of bucks, actually. A lot of stuff I've been coming across has not been nothing special. But this is, looks like a shooter. So, wanna, that's going to be a shooter for me. I've been passing up so many bucks so we're just gonna take this one I haven't really been finding anything like special like I'm gonna say like special like diamond or anything like that I ain't found nothing it has been slow it went down in a really weird spot yes sir 166. Oh, from where I was standing, he looked like he was something better. Maybe gold or whatnot. But no, he wasn't anything spectacular. He could have been so much better. Okay, we finally got something. Something nice. At 
200 yards. Now, will this gun get the penetration? We're about to find out because we, we, we're using the cheapest gun, but I want to see how much penetration this gun can actually get for it being the cheapest. So basically, the starting gun. So, that is a shot. Is he... He... Oh. Okay, he is dropping. He will go down. Which is a good sign. A little scary, though, from this far away. But he will go down. Which I'm happy with. He's down. He went pretty far, but he is down. Let's see this penetration. He's a 216. Smallest. We had a 217 earlier. Oh, I almost messed that up. But we got the penetration at 284 yards. Barely caught the lung. So, you want to honestly be really, really close. Don't get far away and try to take far shots with it. It's more of an up-close gun. You will get penetration from far away. But there might be a chance of you ruining it or not hitting a shot. You Because if I would have shot and hit the bone, it probably wouldn't got through that bone to get into the lung. So it's more of an up-close and personal gun. That That's good to know now. I wonder what else. Like, what does it go up to? It's a 2 to 4. Oh, so it's, so it's a 2 to 4. So it takes, like, foxes and mutt jacks and all that stuff. That's actually good to know, because I did not know that. Because I didn't have a gun for, like, Munt Jack, so I my bow. Now, now I have a gun for him, which I like that. That is really good to know. Hey, another good, or one that looks good. He's at least going to be 217 to 200. And that should, yep. That is going to bring him down. That is going to bring him to the ground. Dude, I'm having fun using the cheapest weapon in Call of the Wild. It's literally, like, that's not free. That you either pay for it. It's literally the cheapest rifle in the game. So, yeah. I might do, with all classes, for different animals, like, cheapest pistol, cheapest bow, all that good stuff. And we might try to hunt just uh, different animals with the cheapest weapons. Might be a little series of videos here and there. Cheapest crossbow, cheapest bow, cheapest pistol, cheapest shotgun. It's not free because I don't really consider the stuff that is free. That is a different herd. Yeah, that is a whole different herd. I was not expecting them to be there. I didn't even know that herd was there. But yeah, free. I don't consider free cheap because you you get them, yes, but then they're free, so that's technically cheap, but it's not. That's just how I I I am though. Everybody's different. If you want to consider the the free stuff the cheapest, you can, but uh, I I don't. Dude, I am surprised I have not seen a level 3 turkey. Like, do turkeys not make level 3 anymore? Or can they still make level 3? I mean, I just took that white tail. 212. Hey, I was close. I was close. I did not realize there was a stand here. Now I know there's a stand here. We may actually use the stands at some time. Did I get vitals on this whitetail? No, but I did get no organ hit, so it's going to be... He might go down, he might not. I don't know. Here, we, he did go down. We are here. I found it. Moose zone. 173. Yeah, we didn't hit nothing special. That's a nice level 3 moose. Too bad this gun wouldn't be able to take that. I'd, I'd just be peppering him and it would. I don't even think he would go down. I don't think... 
I mean, maybe if I shot him a lot, he might go down. But I highly doubt he would. Well, we can always find out one day. Run and gun. Chase Moose down. Spray and pray with the 2 2 3. Hey everybody, thank y'all for watching. I hope y'all enjoyed this one. And as always, I hope I can catch y'all in the next one. Let us.